It's time for baseball now as the show's now, tour of the minors Joel continues with a stop in the Southern League. Oh, a good now. matchup here for you tonight between the Montgomery Biscuits and the Chattanooga Lookouts. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Jimmy Kazanski has the ball for the fifth game of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Stepping into the box, Chang Ho Chen. Seven. He's driven in four the runs on baseman. four hits to this Chang point Ho. in the series. Chen. Comes set, the 0 1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Number seven is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. So one run here on three hits, one error. And so here's the cleanup hitter, number seven. Don't comes in hurt. after a day of rest number yesterday, seven. so we'll see if it did him any good. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Guys, yeah, you take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, number now seven, batting. comes into this number at bat seven. 0 for 1 in the ball game. On the ground to the right side, Deerdorf takes it in. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Standing in, Todd Deerdorf. He drove in two with three. a double in his last Todd. at bat. Deerdorf. The one two. On, he pops it up. Prahan shading to his right, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, number seven. He's 0 number for two seven. with a strikeout in this one. From the stretch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. Nope. Took something off there, but it misses ball one. one. Two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. And he misses again, ball three. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Ground ball On to the second. Back. This could up. be Pick two. There's one. Out. On to first. Oh, Not in that. time as the umpire was right there to make the call. They couldn't turn the inning ending double play. They just get the force out at second and the runner scores from third. So stepping in, Alex Blandino and third their runners at the corners two. now. Alex. Blantino. Now the payoff pitch home. Boy, not close again. His third walk of the inning as that misses for ball four. And as a pitcher, that's always tough. Looks like he got a bad break on some of those calls, but he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way and you've just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. Now batting. Striding in once again, John, John Dixon. He flew Dixon. out in his last at bat. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. So one run on at the plate, number seven. He's batting cleanup in this we'll one, but we'll get us started here in the inning the as they look to wake up number the bats. Seven. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. 
Here's a line drive out to left center, and this is going to get down for a leadoff base hit. The throw into second. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. Well, he clearly thought he had a shot at two on the hit, but they did a nice job in the outfield of getting it in quick to cut him down. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road, but they find a way to get it done.
The stars of tomorrow get their shot in the and limelight now, today as the show's coverage Texas of the Southern League is General. on the air. It's the home opener of this new season between the Chattanooga Lookouts and the Jackson Generals. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Fernando Vila gets the ball for the opener in front of these hometown fans. Stepping into the box, Hildemaro Vargas. Exactly. He's ready for his first the at bat baseman. of this early season Hildemaro. contest. Vargas. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Under it is the left fielder. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Play ball. You're out. Three. Standing in, number that seven. He comes into this the April contest as one number of the hottest seven. hitters in the league. His season average up into the high 300s now. Started to go Inside, around there, but he one. holds up ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out, and a high degree of difficulty on... Stepping up to the plate, Russell Goslin. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The third baseman. Russell. Pulled high in the Gosselin. air out to left field. Waiting on it, the left fielder. He's got it one away. Coming to the plate now, Les the Ramirez. He looked to bounce back after striking left. out his last time up. Ramirez. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Number seven is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no. Digging in for his second at bat. Number, number seven. seven. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bouchard is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working. Digging in now, now number batting. seven. 0 for number 2 on seven. his line thus far. The 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. The bouncer to well, the run left it, side. Run it, run it, run it, run it. fields it cleanly. Throw he's in up. time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. Into the box, number seven. He'll Leading start off things off in the top of the ninth as the they look fielder. for a little insurance. Number seven. Line drive oh, the pick left. Pick it up, pick it up, pick that it up. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. 
The ninth inning's underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. It's a great job right there to get a leadoff knock. You got the lead. You have a chance to add on in the later innings. Leadoff guy getting on sets the tone. Ready for another shot now. Carmen now Huerta. Batting. He singled his last time Carmen. up. Huerta. Has a look. Now the pitch. Runners off for second. High in the air out towards shallow right. Hoyt is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. On to first, and they get the double play. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top player of the game. And he was locked in at the